as some of you are already aware, today is March 8th and today I turn 28. Of course, I alone discovered turning 28. I am the first person to turn 28 because of this monumental discovery of the uh, year 28 that I have alone achieved. I wanted to give a huge handshake and a, and a big shout out to something that's helped me immensely. Immensely, it's made me feel more powerful. It's made me feel driven and focused. It's, it's something that I can give every single fiber of my being to. And that's right, it is Elden Ring. Now, if you're somehow unaware of this game, this is From Software's newest debut. From Software being the creators of the Souls games, such as Dark Souls, Demon Souls, etc. Now, these games have a huge pension for being very, very very difficult. Not impossible, never impossible, but challenging. I feel like I've only gone through about half of the game, and yet the sense of accomplishment I have had with certain enemies and bosses is immense. For those that aren't totally aware, a lot of the fun and the thrill of these games comes from overcoming these very, very tough enemies. These types of games are known to pack a punch and rarely pull them. So victories in games such as Sekiro, Bloodborne, Dark Souls, Elden Ring, the From Software games, victories really offer a huge thrill. The adversity to be triumphed. Now obviously it's just a video game, but I do have to admit that I have gotten farther in this game than any From Software game. I really haven't played many, and I have sat down and I have absolutely blasted my heart and soul and mind into this game. My character has gone from a stupid looking idiot to a much better looking idiot. Never before did I think that I was going to be looking up builds and looking up stats and, you know, different items for different things. Never did I think that I was going to be putting in this much effort into a video game. Normally, I just go with the flow and just smash my head on it until it works. I did not want to do that for this game. I wanted to do a little bit more research and see what the deal was with builds. So what I did is I put every single point I really could, every point I thought I should, into faith, which basically powers up not spells, but similar things called incantations. I'm not going to bore you with the nitty gritty, but what I will say is I am very proud of my accomplishment so far. I just really am, I'm, I'm happy with what I've been able to do. This is the farthest I've gotten in a From Software game, and I intend to go all the way. I'm going to do every single thing I can physically do in this game. If I cannot do it, I'm going to do something else and come back and do it. And I just wanted to give a little shout out to this game. Environment is beautiful. The characters are very, very well done. They all have room to breathe, they all have room to grow, however, the growth, the story, the material, as with all From Software games, is hidden. This is not something where you'll, you know, open up a dialogue and it'll give you the whole lore breakdown. They're gonna name drop a bunch of people that you have no idea about. They're gonna be throwing out names like Renan, Renalia, Moog, things that you're completely unaware of, and the way you become aware is by going through that world, finding pieces of information, finding characters that tell you a little bit more, finding different things, or just finding the character itself and getting your ass handed to you by them. Now you all know I'm a huge, huge fan of lore, so games like this that make you really seek it out, they don't put it on a platter and f spoon feed it to you, They're, these things really interest me, and so far the world of Elden Ring has not disappointed one bit. I'm going to continue my journey in the game, and I highly suggest that everyone try this game if they think they can handle it. If you're not at all interested, if you look at the game and you're like, that looks terrible, I don't want to deal with it, don't deal with it. But if you have an inkling, if you have that tickle in the back of your throat that says Elden Ring, I highly encourage trying it out.